What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be testing the Xenia Xbox 360 emulator on a Ryzen 2400G APU. I recently made a video showing off Red Dead Redemption running in this emulator on a higher end PC and a lot of people wanted to know if it would run on a 2400G. So here we go. Real quick, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown. 2400G overclocked to 3.9 gigahertz, 8 gigabytes of DDR4, 3200 megahertz RAM. It's in dual channel. And I also have the built-in Vega 11 graphics overclocked to 1400 megahertz. I've actually been able to take this system up a little higher to 4 gigahertz and 1500 on the GPU, but it's not that stable. So I'm sitting right here and to tell you the truth, overclocking it anymore is just not going to help out with this emulator. Like you saw from the title, it didn't go very well. I'm just going to leave this over here in the side. I'm not going to go full screen with the game itself. There's two versions of Xenia, DirectX 12 and Vulkan. DirectX 12 actually works better on this system, but that's really not saying much. Um, Vulcan, I'm getting black screens with a lot of the games, so in this video I'm just going to be testing out Red Dead Redemption and Forza 2. I'm just going to go ahead and load up Forza 2 real quick. Now don't get excited about the FPS shown on screen yet. It's going to dip down quite a bit. So I left the task manager running over on the side here so we could see the CPU and GPU usage. Since we're on the DirectX 12 version, we're going to be using a lot of this GPU, practically all of it, because it's going to peg it out at 100%. In gameplay, the CPU is only going to be utilized about 35%. So going into this, I knew it wasn't going to work very well because in my previous video I did on Xenia, I was running it on my higher end machine. i5-9600K overclocked to 5.1 GHz with an EVGA 2080XC Ultra, and I was averaging around 45 FPS with that setup. Now we're coming down quite a bit with the 2400G. This is a very low end setup. So even just in the menus here, we're getting 4 FPS. Now I'm going to choose a car here. I'm actually going to speed this up until we get into gameplay because loading does take a little while. So the GPU is pegged at 100% but our CPU is around 35% usage. We're averaging around 5-6 FPS. It does go up to 8 every once in a while. Sound is pretty bad and when I hit the brakes you're going to hear this. I'm going to shut it off immediately because it's pretty bad. So as it sits right now, Xenia is not going to be playable on the 2400G unless you add a dedicated GPU. The built-in Vega 11 graphics just isn't powerful enough to push this emulator. Before we get out of here, I just want to show you one more. This is Red Dead Redemption. And once again, don't get your hopes up by the FPS being displayed right now. When we get into the menu, just the start menu, we average around 2 FPS. So adding a dedicated GPU is definitely going to increase the performance of Xenia, but I don't think a 1050 or even a 1060 is going to cut it right now. But there's a chance we could get decent performance with a 1070 or even the RTX 2060. And in fact, I actually have one on the way to me, an EVGA RTX 2060. I'm going to do a 2400G with the RTX 2060 build. And I'm going to test this out again for you guys. So if you're interested in seeing anything like that, definitely subscribe to the channel so you stay up to date. Unfortunately, the 2400G even overclocked to the max just isn't going to do it right now with the Xenia emulator. Really appreciate you watching. If you could, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and like always, thanks for watching.